today I just wanted to make a quick video to kind of show you guys the quickest and uh, easiest way I found to record video game footage on your PC you know, if you have an NVIDIA card that is. There's a, all kinds of different software out there you can get and I kind of researched some different ones to try to use and the one I found to be the best by far is uh, GeForce Experience which uses Shadow Play to record your game footage. Now I'm new to game uh, footage recording or in the past I've usually kind of just used my camera to record my screen which obviously isn't that great and so I, I tested out a few different software programs. One of them was um, open broadcast software. It's also known, I think, as OBS. And you can see here that their, their user interface is a little bit confusing to me. I, really, I, I got it working finally. It wasn't very intuitive, but I couldn't get the output to be of very high quality. You can see it came out super pixelated and I messed with it for maybe at least 15 minutes. And if I can't figure it out by that time, I think it's, to me, it's just too hard to use. So, you know, I might be a little slow or something, but I, I couldn't really figure it out. So OBS software, I X that out. The other one I tried was XSplit Broadcaster. Now this is a pretty popular um, software package, but one of the reasons why I didn't like them is you make, they make you sign up for an account and then they always are, they're always promoting themselves. They're making you buy a license, so it's not really, I mean it's free, but their free version is like really limited. You can't really do high quality. And then the UI itself was really tough, but it's always nagging you to buy it. And I, I once I signed up for an account, they started sending me emails like two or three a week. So I was like, what the hell? Um, but you know, it, I ended up getting it to work okay, but I don't know why anybody would want to use this when there's a lot better free options out there. So the XSplit Broadcaster, I really didn't like because it was always nagging me and you can't really do more than 30 frames a second or really high quality. So anyway, that's out of there. Then of course, there's always Fraps. Uh, Fraps has um, obviously been around for a, a long time. I use it a lot to uh, monitor my frame rates. Um, it does have built-in recording software as well as you can see here. You can uh, go in the movies section, you can uh, enable a hotkey to capture it up to 60 frames a second. The one thing I didn't like about Fraps is uh, it's a little bit CPU intensive so it can uh, cut into your frame rates a little bit. Actually a pretty decent amount from what I've found online and their capture hotkey, it does capture the footage but you never really know, it doesn't give you in any indication that it's actually capturing the software so you might hit the button and you don't really know if you're recording or not so it's like a little bit risky if you have a good sequence and you hope you recorded it and for some reason you didn't know the recording didn't go through and then you're like damn you lost all that footage so so those are two of the bigger ones I try to use I know there's another one called DX Tori or something like that but I didn't really try that one out um, I ended up just using this GeForce software so all you have to do is go to geforce.com and then go to GeForce experience and then just download their software and then once you have that installed, you can just open it up. The UI is really clean, really simple. What you do is you go into preferences here, and there's a few things you can uh, do. Initially, what you want to do is click up here in the right-hand corner and click on Shadow Play. So in the Shadow Play box up here, it opens up your settings, and there's just a few simple settings you can set. So you can go into mode. I usually like to set mine on Shadow and Manual. Manual is where you manually turn the recording on or off by hitting the Alt F9 key. Or you can have Shadow, which is basically you just hit Alt F10 and it will download the last however many minutes of recording you set it to. So let's say you set to you set your um, Shadow time here to be um, anywhere from one to 20 minutes. I like to set it on 20 because that's usually enough to capture a whole round. Uh, 20 minutes will take about 12 gigabytes of uh, storage, depending on the quality that you set. But sh um, Shadow time, so all you have to do is hit Alt F10 and it will immediately save the last 20 minutes of your um, game footage straight to your hard drive, which is nice. Um, you can set it to less if you want. And then manual is where you hit Alt F9 and it will manually turn on a recording so it's just recording continuously until you um, toggle the recording off. That's manual. So I, I like to have it shadow and manual because I like both options available. And then you can enable Twitch, which allows you to broadcast straight into Twitch if you have a Twitch account, which I don't really do that. So, And then here's where you set the quality. You can do low, medium, or high. Uh, the default amount is 50 megabits per second. I like to set it to um, 80 megabits per um, second and 60 frame rate, uh, 60 frames per second, and that will roughly take per minute about 500 megabytes per minute of game footage. So it definitely uses up some hard drive space, um, but you don't end up keeping every single thing you record anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. If you are concerned about hard drive space, you can always um, back the quality down. But I find the 80 megabits per second gives you kind of like the best overall quality. I can kind of tell 50 was a little bit lesser quality. I found 80 and 60 frames per second to be the uh, sweet spot, at least for me personally, so you can mess with that. And then the final setting here is you have audio. You can record the, your in-game audio, your in-game and your mic, or you can just turn the audio off. The microphone's kind of nice because, um, you know, if you wanted to kind of record anything you're saying to your squad mates or anything like that. So that's the general settings here. And then one other little thing 
is the recordings you can just designate the save location. So I have a dedicated drive that I use for game footage, but you can set the hard drive whatever location you want to save your footage to. And then one other thing here to just kind of cover is the overlays. So if you have a webcam attached, you can set your camera and what you do is uh, you can just click here in any one of the four corners of your screen to set where you wanted to overlay like your webcam footage if it's pointing at your face or maybe if you want to um, track your keyboard and, and mouse usage you can if you somehow have it pointed down you can you can record that while you're doing your um, screen capture so that's kind of nice um, I turn that off and then you have a fame FPS counter that you can set I don't really like to use it that much because it only updates one like once every one or two seconds whereas fraps is kind of continuously updates so there's no real lag but you can turn that on here if you like to have multiple FPS counters on your screen for whatever reason and the last thing and the most important thing to me is the status indicator so again you can select whatever corner you want to set your status indicator to. I set it into the bottom right. So now when you're in game, you can see the little status indicator down here. It's blank. And all I have to do is when I hit Alt F9, it will turn the rec it will turn recording on and then give you a little green circle there to indicate, you know, you're recording in-game footage. And so that's kind of nice. And then when you're done recording, you hit Alt F9 again and it will show a little green down arrow to tell you that it's, you know, saving the file to your hard drive. And then it will just show a blank circle here, which means it's on kind of standby. It's not really recording anything. And then the other thing is when you're playing, let's say you're playing and you're having a really good round, you kill a couple people, um, or maybe go on a 10 kill streak or something like that, you can hit Alt F10 and it will give you a quick flash of a down arrow to let you know that it's recording the last 20 minutes, it's dumping it to your hard drive, tell you that it did it, and then that's it, you're good to go. So once you do that, then all you have to do is go into wherever you have your designated recordings going, and uh, you'll see your file footage right here where you can uh, you know, watch it, upload it, share it, whatever you want to do with it. So really, really super, super simple. That's it, that's, that's the easiest kind of way I found to record game footage software. Yeah, go ahead and check it out, download it for yourself, and uh, give it a spin, see what you guys think. But thanks a lot for watching, and uh, we'll catch you in the next video.